Hello everybody. Welcome out to a new series that I never done before. And yes, don't worry, I do have the music turned off just in case if there's any copyright music in this game. And I just I just was afraid if it if I did leave the music on I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit by a lot of copyrights. So what I done I turned down the music all the way down but I left the you know the people's voices and the sound effects in but the music is turned off so if you don't hear no music in this game I turn it down due to copyright reasons. So welcome, so welcome out to Life is Strange bonus episode farewell LP. Let's go ahead and start this and I hope that you enjoy Max and Chloe when they are young and let's get into it and here we go. This part right here is kind of sad about these dolls. It just reminds me of the one in <laughs> Toy Story. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Just in science, Max. Even when science means blue machine. <laughs> <laughs> this just reminds me of the scene in Toy Story where Sid did the th same thing to his toys. It's just so sad. I'm going to say that uh, you're insane because I really honestly don't think you should be doing that to your toys, Sid, because toys can see everything and that line will always stick with you forever. So no, it's not cool to blow up your toys. So, for this part right here, I'm going to say you're insane. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. It is. I'm pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. Well, I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Yes, ma'am. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moved to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. 
So this is what uh, this is what uh, Max looks like when she is a child. I have to say she is very cute, but but pretty young too. And I really like her shirt, the one that said release me on it. It looks very nice. And this is her best friend Chloe. She knows her ever since she was little. And them two uh, likes to be pirates. Because they, they grew up being pirates. Okay. What do I see around here that belongs in the trash box? Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Poor thing. Mm. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Besides Bongo, of course. Oh, and if you don't know who Bongo is, it's uh, Chloe's cat. But I'm not going to uh, going to so, uh, spoil anything if you've never seen this game. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. The Adventurous Adventure of Super Matt and Dr. Kloenstein. Our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier, Dr. Kloenstein. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. And another thing, this room is so iconic. I think this is like everybody's dream, everybody's dream bedroom. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Arcadia Bay Junior High Report Card, 8th grade. Chloe Elizabeth Price, 44 Cedar Avenue, Arcadia Bay, Earth Science A, English A, World History A, Pre-Algebra A, Spanish 1 A, and then Physical Ed is B. I would say she did a lot better. A lot better. That's actually a pretty good report card. Way to go, Chloe. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, let's just say that Nathan's dad is a big, huge, lovable jerk. And the way that he treats Nathan like garbage, I felt sorry for him. And Nathan, he is misunderstood. I mean, I know he did things a lot in the Life is Strange. Like he shot Chloe and and he takes it out on mats and stuff. But deep down he's just scared. Okay. 
What do I see around here that belongs in the trash box? He's just scared and he just needed someone to be right beside him to help him love him and and treat him very well instead of what his dad is doing to him treat him like garbage like he's yesterday's trash so for me I felt sorry for Nathan but I cannot stand his dad just putting it out there but you'll see what I mean I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter to the parents of Chloe Price, dear parents, congratulations, your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child is still in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26th, April 2nd, and it is the deadline to inform us of your intention regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included for those who require financial aid. Please contact Blackwell Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to meet welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Seriously, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Admissions. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab's legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. I'm going to push further because there's got to be more than what she is saying. Tell me about it, Chloe. What? What? Tell me more. Just tell me more. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people, like you. That's very sweet. Thanks. I guess you know what I mean. I I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. Yeah, I kind of I kind of understand what she is coming from on that line right there. It's better to hang out with real people and real friends instead of the ones that are fake and and everything. So, yeah, I understand how Chloe feels about what she said right there. Okay, I think that's everything that I can look. I uh, know, never mind, here's one. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Okay, um, I guess I can look at her, um, her hoodie. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd need to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Come on, Max. Help me out here. Find something for me to trash. Okay. What do I see around here that belongs in the trash box? Mm -hmm. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Okay, now it's time for me to lay down because you know me in this in these games I love to sit or lie down on beds and uh, 
benches and st and ground and stuff. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things. Pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Um, I think, I think that's all that she says. Yeah, I think that's all that she says. And while this is going, yes, the way that she is planning it. She is that she is leaving um, Ikea Bay. She's moving to Seattle because of her parents' um, desire to move there. And she is she is trying to going to try to tell her best friend how how she can tell her that she that your best friend is moving. So she's kind of wandering and thinking while hurting her feelings. And she's trying hard trying to understand what she is trying to want to say to her best friend. This could this is can be the hardest thing in real life if you wanted to say something like that to your best friend. It's really hard. And I understand uh, that that Max is moving and it's just making her sad because she lived here for so long and she just don't want it to go she don't want it to go and change and you know but if she does move I mean I know she is I hope, I hope somewhere down along the way that she met Sean and Daniel because they live in Seattle. So I hope, I'm wondering if she, I wonder if she met, met them when she moved. That would be really interesting to know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get up now since there's no music and I'm done talking. So let's move on. And I hope that y'all enjoy this part one. Okay, now let's uh, let's look at Mr. Sharky. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are, Chloe. I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Yeah, I would be I would be in the same boat if someone did that to my to my toy rabbit. I would be going I would be going crazy. It's if, if someone drove my uh my toy in in a trash. I would be I would be mm mm. You gotta protect your childhood toy till the end. Okay. Um let's see. I guess we can go ahead and start Are there on these any old hobbies Chloe no longer cares about? This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but how sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> how about you? Any new moves? And 
And if you see captions like that, I'm sorry that it gets stuck. I don't know why it does that, so I'm sorry that happened. I'm going to say totally. Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Garfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> Alright, back to the junk lines. Okay, now, uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Chloe and I haven't played this in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. I'm going to say that, I'm going to say you beat me or we never played, um, I'm going to say you beat me. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. But how are you going to play it if it's missing a lot of pieces? That's very strange, Chloe. Okay, I guess I'll look at this, um, camera. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His sports. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Mm. Actually, it's kind of cool. And that's the, the story of Matt's journey on Photograph. I could try Chloe's old magic set. Her magician face is definitely over. Okay. Open. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic face with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? Mm, I'm gonna say it's you never use it. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Nope, we've still got some things to do, girl. Still got things to do. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. Yeah, it's probably very, 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 very old. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? It's a serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. I don't really want to lick it, but it's probably disgusting by now, but I'm gonna lick it anyway. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably very, very old. Disgusting. 
All right. Um, open the drawer. See what's in here. Whoa! Talk about embarrassing. Shady Mesh and Abby. Okay. Trash that definitely. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Uh, you mean the Sharby jobs? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. <sighs> Alrighty, uh, did I look in this bookcase? Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Okay, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else that I looked. Yeah. Okay, I guess, I guess I'll go ahead and, um, talk to Chloe. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? All right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. No, go ahead and tell her now. That's what you, that, that's what you need to do. Just let it out. Just tell her now. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... don't know how to... Shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? I'm going to say that it's probably pirate related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. And the powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. I bet y'all sound really cute. Ready to find out? Y'all two are like cutest kids. Only the map can lead you to the treasure you see, but before and uh, again, only those with pure <laughs> hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. Good luck! And... Uh... Why? <laughs> Dude, that was... I'm gonna say that was a... Uh, amazing. Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what the year old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Can you like call him a second? The subtitles are not really working right now. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. I'm sorry about the catch-ins, y'all. For some reason the catch-ins is not working. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. Oh, that's a pretty nice uh, pirate ship. Bane of Arcadia. Aww. Bluebeard is Chloe. Long Max Silver is Max. Aww, Pongo the pirate. Bongo. Aww, so cute. That's what Bongo looks like, y'all. If y'all uh, don't know what the cat looks like. So cute. The gang home. Pirate rules. No baiting. No boys on a ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plant walking. Captain Log, another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it because our enemies want our treasure so bad we must make sure the map is only readable to us captain bluebeard and long max silver to more plunder and riches captain bluebeard long max silver this looks like a page was ripped out i wonder if it's the map hey check this out this page was ripped out do you think it's the map if it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Where could it be? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, exit the game and see if that will stop the, um, the freezing on the south house. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what the year old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Where could it be? Okay, we are back and finally got the subtitles to quit freezing up. That's been that's been happening to me when I last time I played this the the subtitles freezes up. So uh square units if y'all are watching this, can y'all please fix the subtitles? Please? Where could that map be? Maybe it's mixed in with Chloe's old books? 
because I just because it doesn't need to be doing that. Thank you. Please and thank you. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Chloe Price, teacher Miss Shelley. 100%. Great job as always, Chloe. Now please try to pay attention in class instead of drawing pictures with Maxine. Social Studies. Stars and Stripes, Chapter 11. The Civil War began when Southern states wanted to secede from the Union. The President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, gave the Gettysburg Address and issued the Anticipation Proclamation. The people who fought to in slavery were called abolitionists. I don't know how to say that word. I'm sorry if I miss miss uh, saying that word. Harriet Tubman worked with the Underground Railroad to help slaves escape to freedom. In 1864, Congress passed the 13th Amendment, a change of addition to the Constitution ending slavery. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Okay, is there anything else that I can look besides that? Oh yeah, let me uh, take a photo. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Pose with Chloe. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Okay, now this. I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. I wonder if I can still get to the end. Mass and Chloe Sewer Adventure by Mass and Caulfield and Chloe Price. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel at page 8. Don't pet the squirrel page 3. I'm going to say don't pet the squirrel, so I'm going to go page 3. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very mean. The squirrel seemed annoyed that you ignore her. She ran in and steal the book report right off your desk and run back outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh-huh, whatever you say. Miss Anders responds, clearly not believing you. What do you do? Chase the squirrel or stay in class? I'm going to chase the squirrel, obviously. As soon as Miss Anders turned around, you run out the window and chase the squirrel. That is a very bad thing to do, and you hope you don't get in trouble later, but you probably will. Outside, you look around, but you can't find the squirrel. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. She's standing next to a cover hole. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy, do you really want to go down there? S jump down the sewer? Part 2 or find another way. I'm going to say jump down so I want to go page 2. You are very stupid cross out brave. You leap down into the sewer. Thankfully there's a pile of trash, banana peels and dirty diapers to land on. Phew. You hear a squirrel sound in the distance so you run to follow it. There are many twists and turns. Eventually you came to a fork in the road. But now not the time for the eating. So you put the fork back down and consider the two paths in front of you. On the ground you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and a trail of chew, uh, chew up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Um, honestly to the right. So page seven. Or no, um, I'm at left. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, page nine. Yeah, that's right. Left. Okay, you pick right. I mean left, which was right. It's confusing. In the distance, you see the squirrel. 
but he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly, the ground began to shake. Around the corner, a giant rat appeared. It's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen is the Rat King. The Rat King is wearing a crown and standing on a throne of all your missing homework, including your back report. What do you do? I'm going to say, um, run away, page 5. You run away like a scary cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip on a small shiny object. You pick it up. It's lighter. Your mom never let you play with these, but she's not here right now, is she? Now it's your chance to get rid of the Rat King and protect all the students. Homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Do you do it? Just kidding, you don't get a choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King, but how do you want to attack him? Burn his tail or burn his strong? I'm gonna say burn his strong. Thirteen. You decided to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts you to burn all the amazing homework, including your wonderful book report. But you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the drone catches on fire, the Rat King begins screaming, No, my drone! Suddenly, the Rat King began to shrink. Before long, it, he is back to the size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Aw, oh, he's so cute now. You run back to class and tell Miss Andrews all about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for the for not having your book report, but she declared that you are the greatest hero in the school. Duh. The end. Until the next Max and Chloe's adventure. Oh, yes! Take that, Rat King. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. I'm not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Bingo. Chloe, Secret Lair, Dark Cavern, Treasure Island, and Bryce Castle. And there's a picture with Matt and Chloe. They're very cute. Uh, treasure map. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? We made the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern. AKA the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of? I'm gonna say that it's still scary. Was? Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver ride again. La 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 la. I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, I might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Sorry that I had to do that la 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 part at that scene because I wanted to block out that that word so I just wanted to do that sorry if that was out of nowhere okay now since we're out of Chloe's room now we can actually look around the house I 
can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. The College of Arcadia Early Childhood Education Certification Program. Take the first step, be the first step. Early childhood education is the first step to our lifelong learning night classes available. If this is what you want, we'll find a way to make it work. W. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? William Price, my boy. I just, he's like, him and Joyce is like one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, parents. The Bay Bowlers 2002 Most Strike. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Wow, oh, so cool. Name Price William from Portland or Des Phoenix, Arizona. Class E, C, 15C, Departure 422-1425. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's going to love it. Visit the Grand Canyon. Bike and cheat tour available daily. 277 miles of beauty. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Chloe's parents are so cute. Oh, they they definitely do look so young. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. No. What a lovely family photo. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I think that's a reference to Chronicles of Narnia that she's mentioning there. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. To William Price and Joyce Price from Ray Wells. Meeting this week. Hello Mr. and Mrs. Price. I would like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, it seems that she is having trouble transitioning into a new, more challenging environment. I'm emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are as dedicated to Chloe's success here as we are. The future needs excellence. Regard, Ray Wells. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. To Ray Wells, Joyce Price, meeting this week. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out the day, and if you ask me, Mauricia Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. 
Maybe if both sides of the story were heard before placing blame, your school would be a less challenging environment for your student. Focus on your school. I'll focus on my daughter. William Price. Way to go, Dad. Way to go. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. To Joyce Price, voicemail for you. These type of people are exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out. I promise I love you too. From Joyce Price, voicemail for you. I forgot to tell you, Miss Roger called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answer machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. We need to figure out how to handle this. I know the, I know the principal said her scholarship is in danger, but I still worry. Love you. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. To Aaron Price, William Price. Thanks for the pressure washer. Hey Aaron, finally using your pressure washer today and I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Work like a charm, it's not our dream house, but now it can at last be the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there'll be cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is still going well and tell Linda I say hello, William. Oh, and by the way, Aaron Price is William Price's brother. Cause what Max said that that she that wish I had siblings. I think in Aaron Price is William Price's brother. I think, and he and I think this is the only one that Aaron Price ever mentioned in this. I think. I don't know if, if he if they mention him in Life is Strange or Before the Storm. I'm not sure. Okay, that is everything in in Joyce and William's room. Let's go out. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Bathroom. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time? I just don't get it. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. I thought that was very cute that uh, that William and Joyce bought her a toothbrush so whenever she comes over she can like stay and stuff and bought her own toothbrush. I thought that was like very replacing the house, but I need to head to the attic. I thought that was very I thought that was very nice of them for doing that for her. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Okay. What I'm going to do in the next part, I will work on the, the closet in the next video since this video is getting a little bit long. Alright, uh, thank you all for uh, watching this first part of part one. I'll see you in a... I think the door to the attic is inside the broom closet. I will do that in the next part, Max. Okay, see you in part two. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And be safe out there. Bye, ya. And please give it a like. And please leave positive comments. Okay, bye.